I'm going to be reviewing the second movie for uh, Halloween. And this movie was The Cabin in the Woods. Now, when I say this movie is all kinds of trippy, like you think you know what's going on there now during the whole entire movie, but you really don't know what's going on. You know what I mean? Like, you know how you think you can tell what's going to happen next? But what happens next is drastically more than what you expected it to be. That's kind of how I felt watching this movie. Now, let's first and foremost start off with like the casting in this movie was really, really good. Also, this movie, I believe, was made in like 20, 2010, I think, or something like that. So it had a bunch of actors in there before they actually got a lot bigger than they were then. So during this movie, ultimately, this movie is about a group of five friends that go to the cabin trip for the weekend, um, but they're really in a matrix so they can be offered up to the ancient ones in like a ritual sacrifice and things like that so they can continue to inhabit the earth but they have to give sacrifices here and there to kind of keep them from coming up and taking over the earth right right short and sweet right to the point not really giving you too much but yeah that's ultimately what the movie's about now throughout the movie it plays on a bunch of things that happens in horror movies that we've seen like the guy that the creepy dude that gives you all the weird sayings about how the people are going to be in trouble. They gave you that. They gave you, um, you know, the different types of monsters like werewolves. They gave you a bunch of different characters that, you know, you could perceive as scary and things like that. Now, like I said, those scary aspects that they're presenting, they're giving to those individuals that are in the actual horror story per se but it's like two stories going at once and then at the end it meets as one story like both worlds come across and you now have one movie to where they're both impacting each other versus one end of the spectrum is kind of controlling the nightmare and then the other people are living in the nightmare but then they kind of fumble the nightmare and then they end up a few of them end up escaping the nightmare and figuring out everything else that's going on right so I like that aspect of it. And like I said, it was, in my opinion, it was very funny as well. Like it also threw in the aspect of them just having fun in the workplace, even though they're kind of ruining certain people's lives. They're having fun, making bets, doing all this different stuff. And I enjoyed it. It honestly was a very, very good movie. I liked it. I would probably get this movie an eight and a half out of 10. Um, there were some aspects that I would have liked to see more. But like I said, overall, it was a really, really good movie. And I see why a lot of people like that movie which is the reason why I like it. And I will put that up there on my, not necessarily my hierarchy. This would probably be top 15 of horror movies that I have. But yeah, it is very, very good. And I recommend that you all go watch it because it was very, very entertaining. But yeah, my review of The Cabin in the Woods.